Do you not have any money? Do you not have three dollars to buy a tech deck at Walmart? Well, you've come to the right place because we're going to be making a tinfoil fingerboard. Let's get into it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait a second. Oh, here's my supplies. Oh, oh, here we go. Thank the Lord. Uh, wait a minute. Where my... Cheeky little pen. Yeah. Epic transition for the pen. Boing. There it is. A pen. Because we're going to be needing some scissors, tape, a tech deck, but you don't need one. But if you want to let... I own, I'm only using this just so I can get the curves right. But you could draw your own curves. Make it as wide as you want. But it's fine for that. And this is all the stuff we're going to be needing, I think. Well, anyways, first, first, what we're gonna be doing, if I can set this up, okay, first what we're gonna be doing is taking this, and making it as, like, you know how, like, you know what, make it as, like, straight as possible, just do that, that's all, it, that's it. Just gotta make it as straight as possible so it's easier to make the fingerboard. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold it like this. Fold it like that, so when you're things like that, you wanna fold it. Like I just did. And then you wanna fold it again. This is terrible. <laughs> then you wanna fold it another time. Oh my god. Oh wait, I did it on. Crap. Now I guess that can work. And then you wanna fold it. Wait. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, fold it another time. This is optional, but I'm just gonna fold it another time. You don't have to fold it another time if you don't want to. Then, for, then you wanna fold it. Just like right there. Then you wanna cut it in half. Boom. And we will not be needing this part. The other part. If you're gonna use this part, you don't need the, this part. If you're gonna use this part, you're not gonna use this part. But I'm gonna use this part right here. So you don't need some. So when you wanna. What, so with this, you wanna tape the edges just just so it doesn't like come off while you're fingerboarding. So like, eh, well, it doesn't really work, does it? As long as this is metal, we won't need staples because I wouldn't use staples. But you just wanna tape the edge so it doesn't like, split apart while well, you're fingerboarding. Okay. You want to make it like flat on the edges, unless it's already rounded, you don't need to do that. But I'm making it like that. Oh. Then you want to take a fingerboard or just draw, and you're gonna to want to put it like right at the edge over here, like that. Then you want to take something to write with, which I'm gonna use this pen. We're gonna be cutting this pen up later, don't ask. And you're gonna try and draw on it. Or make like a little indent like that. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right here. Make a little indent. So again, right here. Make an indent. Ooh, that was my home phone. Then yeah, another indent right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. But you get the point. So you want to make the indent on both sides and then you want to like cut it. So... Mine's not gonna turn out the best, but I. Th this, is, this is terrible. Oh god. So, just to make it a little bit more round. Mm, that can work. Yeah. Oh. Okay, put another piece of tape on the other side so it doesn't open up like it just did. Put a piece of tape right there. And tape it down the middle. For me. 
if you folded it wrong and you folded it like an idiot, then you want to do what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm calling anyone an idiot if you folded it wrong. Alright. So I have like kind of like a surfboard kind of thing. For me at least. Then what you wanna do is like fold the edges up like a real skateboard. That kind of hold on. Let me take my tech deck so it's easy. It's not as long as the tech deck at all. So like just gonna press it down. But eh, you can make this a lot better, you can make it longer. I don't mind. It's not like you have to follow this tutorial or anything, it's kinda simple. So, uh, it looks kind of like a little pop. You can make this as high as you want. And, oh. and then what you want to do. I want to take the ink out of this like 99 cent pen. That you'll probably have laying around your house and then you want to cut it. To make wheels. I cut like little segments. No. Don't hurt yourself. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I have to put it away. Uh, and then move. You have a wheel. Here it is. Then what you want to do is just put this in this. So, alright. And boom! There we go. We got one wheel on there. Well, piece of pencil. Piece of pen. Oh yeah, you just gotta, when you take the ink out, just pull it out. It's like a 99 cent pen like a dollar pen at the dollar store or something like that. So you just gotta cut like the tube, then you'll get it. I already cut my second wheel off camera. So now you gotta tape that on. I just taped it on as you can see. See, I just put it over here and went over right there. Oh, and put it on like the edge of the board. So like, and you get a pop, like boom, boom, boom. Let's put the other one on. Boom. There we go. We have our tin foil fingerboard. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do the Ollie test to see if it's good. I mean, kinda did it. Hey, it actually kinda it kinda works. Unlike a paper one. But other than that, this thing is actually pretty good. You can do tricks with it. I just did a really crappy job. I just winged it with this video. I really did just wing it. Like, I didn't even know how to make one, so I just folded it a bunch. And here we are with the wheels. Well, anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. There's not gonna be cool. There's not gonna be a cool montage like David Jones would do because I can barely do any tricks on this like it doesn't even go up in the air and it bends and eh but see you guys later this is how you make tin foil fingerboard hope you enjoyed like subscribe because you can and it's always free to unsubscribe so see you later goodbye